image chat page uh, on one team prodigy uh, PDGA number is 96992 um, love disc golf disc golf has been a big part of my life for the last uh, four to five years um, kept me out of a lot of trouble doing uh, disc golf and just I found a lot of good friends and um, I've actually started working for uh, Fly Green Disc Golf, uh, helping them out and stuff like that. So it's just been something that I've really, really enjoyed uh, learning and just the challenge of disc golf and the mental game and just making sure that you're always uh, trying to learn and not, um, not just going around and always playing with friends, but it's also just trying to uh, be a better person, be a better influence on younger players and stuff like that as well so it's just been a big thing for me uh, today i'm going to be doing my in the bag um, i am on team prodigy so of course i throw all prodigy discs um, it's been a great thing for me um, been the most consistent plastic i've thrown I know a lot of people uh, throw a different bag mixed bag and stuff like that but i just i feel having a one uh, manufacturer bag has helped me and kept me consistent on my play. Um, first we're going to start off with my putters. Um, putting this year uh, with the PA Force, uh, the 300 plastic. A um, little grippy, just a nice little glide to them. A um, little understable on the side of putters. I like the understable just for my jump putts and stuff like that. It makes it, they glide a little bit more than um, more of my stable like a stable putter. Um, also, do carry another putter. It's the P Model S, uh, the Kayla Visca uh, stamp. Uh, throw this one off the tee mostly, uh, up shots, stuff like that, from pretty much 200 feet and in, I throw my uh, P Model S. Um, going to my approaches, um, have the A2 Huck stamp. Um, I use this pretty much for my forehand disc, anything pretty much 250 to 300 feet and in. Um, if I needed a forehand, I used my A2. Um, also, my A4 is something I use for more of a backhand. I don't use it more for uh, little touchy shots, little just pitch ups and stuff like that. If I don't want something to roll away, um, I use my A4. I'm going into my mid ranges. Uh, I don't bag a lot of mid ranges. Just uh, I, for me, my arm wise, I just I, I use a lot of fairways and uh, distance drivers. But I do carry in bag three uh, uh, mid ranges. Um, starting off with my most stable is my M2. Uh, just I love this thing from anywhere from 300 feet and in. I on a hyzer. I can get it to hyzer flip straight out and just um, go. Also, uh, new, newer to my bag is the um, Cameron uh, Tour Series. It's an M3. Just, again, more a little less stable than my M2. I can get it more of a, just a dead straight throw. Um, so I throw that. And then I have the Kayla Visca. This year's actually two, uh, M4, his Tour Series. Um, this thing is money. I love this disc. I throw it hyzer flip to dead straight and it just gives a little bit of a turn um, with a consistent finish on it. Um, again, just flexible. I, this disc is one of my go-tos. All right, so moving on to my uh, fairways. Uh, going from my le uh, most stable to my least stable. Throw the FX2. Um, throw this pretty much basically only forehands and I do use it for thumber shots when I'm in under tree or in trees and so I need to get out of it. Um, throw it in that 400 plastic so it's just that nice grippy, um, grippy plastic. Um, we'll go with my F3 is my next one. I throw this primarily backhand. Um, pretty much from 300 to 360 um, out there. Just gets a nice hyzer flip to a hyzer with a consistent finish. And then my least, uh, least stable, um, 
This actually is the disc that Katrina Allen won her uh, worlds this year with, the F7. Um, that last shot that beat Paige Pierce, um, go Team Prodigy. Um, with that, I throw this pretty much for anything that I need for a hyzer flip to something that's really understable where it's just gonna work right for me. Um, or I'm sorry, work left for me. Um, and going from there, um, going to my uh, hybrids or what we call the H, uh, H line. I'm um, going most overstable is my H1, uh, Hucklap, a uh, Hucklab stamp. Um, use this pretty much uh, four hands, uh, anything from about 300 to 330 on a four hand. Uh, next is my H3 V2s. I actually carry two of those. Um, got the Huck stamp again. I'm a really big fan of the Huck stamp uh, dies and stamps and stuff like that. So um, throw these, uh, love these discs as well. These are a little bit more for, go a little farther than my fairways, um, but less than my drivers. Um, then I bag uh, two H4 V2s. Uh, again, another Huck stamp. I uh, got this one at a tournament as well. Um, these ones are just a little bit less stable for me. Um, this one being more stable than um, my yellow one. Just I throw these pretty much from 350 to 400-ish, give or take. Um, but that, and then just started bagging the H5 uh, this year uh, has given me a little there's a few shots out here at Expo Park that I use this on that I just need something to actually go left for me if I can't get a forehand there um, this this is just that disc that will only use for pretty much for that turn for me all right moving on to my uh, drivers um, Throwing the X2 for a forehand for my max distance forehand. Um, has a lot of, it's really stable, but has a lot of glide for me. Um, I'm throwing this about 360 to 380 on a forehand. Um, for me, that's how I started out, was throwing only forehands. Um, so I'd throw a little bit more with an Anheuser, um, and then it actually fights back. That's why I use the more stable disc for, a, uh, for my forehands. Um, this next disc, uh, the X3, I use a lighter weight. Uh, it's a 165 weight. Um, this is probably my go-to uh, driver now. Um, I throw it, it just has a lot of glide for me. Um, I'm throwing this about 400 to 420. Um, that's about my max. Uh, my noodle arm can't get there, but uh, can't get more than that lately. But it's uh, with this, it's a, I believe, 13 speed, five glide, uh, neg one, two um, on the fade. But I just, I get a lot of turn with this just because it's a little bit lighter for me. I can get that to flip up and just uh, go to the right or left for me a little bit and then come back. Um, Next is my X4 uh, team stamp. Um, got that this year. Um, probably one of my all time favorite discs in Prodigy is that X4. Um, for me, it just, it has a lot of that. Again, a lot of glide for me. I just, I need that extra glide for my throws and for hyzer flips. I uh, trying to work on me throwing flatter, but just with that, uh, I let go of hyzers quite a bit, so it just makes it a little bit easier for it to flip up for me and get that extra glide. Um, also bagging uh, two of the D3s. Uh, again, the first run D3, a little bit of a lighter, uh, lighter weight for me, so it's a 169 weight. Um, if I'm throwing any of my D3s, a little bit more stable for me um, to get that uh, extra if there's wind, anything like that on a backhand, I use my uh, D3s to get that for me. Um, again, D3s are really good in the wind. Uh, also have an extra glide that, um, that the X3s and the X4 do not. They have a little bit more glide in them. Um, but I just I, I like the X3 a little bit better just because of the rim. So these are the D3s that I throw in the wind. And then Last but not least, I have a D4 in my bag. I use this pretty much uh, primarily for tailwinds. Um, really flippy. Um, throw it on a hyzer, it flips over for me. Um, 
on with a tailwind I'm usually getting this about 450 <laughs> trying to um, get it there but that's about my max I've ever gotten with this disc I'm usually between about 420 400 420 with this disc um, again the D models do have a little bit more glide so if you're looking for something that has a little bit more glide and um, a smaller rim than the X3s or the X4 um, the D models do have a smaller rim where you just can get a little bit better grip if you have different hand sizes a lot of people throw the X's a lot of people throw the D's so um, that's my discs in my bag. Um, next, we will go to my in the bag and what I'm uh, using for my bag this year. Um, I'm using the B, B1 V3 bag. Um, you'll notice I'm doing a lot of red this year. Um, it's in support of Will Schustrick and uh, my friend Alex that their, uh, their babies have a uh, heart uh, disease and stuff like that. And it's just for that um, support for the heart disease is uh, the color red. So I'm using a red cart, um, the Zuka cart, the LG bag cart. Um, also, you'll notice I did is I put the red rims on there. Um, just trying to make everything match. That's just one of my uh, big things that I, <laughs> I do is uh, I try to match as much as I possibly can on everything. All right, this was my in the bag. Um, I also just want to thank Prodigy Disc Golf uh, for sponsoring me the, the years that they've done. And I just, I, I'm telling you guys, if you have not thrown Prodigy Disc Golf, I definitely and highly suggest that you do get your hands on some. You will not regret it. Um, also, if you uh, need to get some uh, Prodigy Disc Golf, Prodigy Discs, I definitely would uh, suggest that you go to Fly Green uh, Disc Golf in Denver, Colorado. They have a huge selection of Prodigy Discs. And then also I want to thank uh, Moss Disc Golf, uh, always making and having the coolest gear, uh, the hats, shirts, belts. Um, they have everything that you could ever want for, for looking professional on that disc golf course. Uh, professional, they also do have like t-shirts and stuff like that too, where you can be really comfortable on those ca casual rounds. Um, again, thank you guys so much for watching my In the Bag 2021.